The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. It was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it, and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? <clears throat> if you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It, it, it looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough to fight me, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. There's its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the Grouchy Ladybug, and it flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the Grouchy Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching his claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing his teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating his chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said Grouchy Ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering his horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the Grouchy Ladybug, and he flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the Grouchy Ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising his trunk and showing his tusks. 
Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. So there's the ladybug, and there's the whale. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug a slap. That it flew across the sea and across the land. So it slapped the ladybug and it's flying across the sea all the way to land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back, arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, you're here again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Says, thank you, and she says, Please excuse the interruption. If Jared Upshaw or Tavis McDonald are in the building, can you uh, let the teacher know to contact the office? Thank you. And the friendly ladybug said, you're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. So today we're going to make a ladybug. So I started with a spoon, a plastic spoon, and I used my scissors to cut the top off. So you might need a parent to help you do that, depending how um, thick your spoons are. So then I have this piece here, and I've got three of those. So you're gonna need three spoons, three pieces. And each of those pieces you're gonna paint or color with a permanent marker. So if you're using paint, it might not stick very well on the plastic. If you add a couple of drops of glue to it, it'll stick and dry on there nicely without rubbing off. So you need two reds and a black. So if you see on the back, that's how the paint dries if you don't put the glue in it. If you put a couple of drops of glue, it smooths on nicely and sticks and dries better. All right, so when those are dry, you take a permanent marker or your paint or whatever you're using again, and you need to put some spots on your ladybug because ladybugs have spots on their so you can put your random or patterned spots however you like them on both of your ladybug wings Then you need to attach your wings to your body of your ladybug. So we need the wings attached so that you have your nice... Please excuse the interruption. Mr. Rosario to the office, please. Mr. Rosario. Curved centers on the end so that it looks like it's part of the body and then their wings are attached. So you need to take your glue and you're going to cover most of your... body and then attach your two wings at whichever angle you like and you need to just decide how much glue is going to work for you. So 
then we'll let that dry. And then for the antennas and the head, I have a pipe cleaner, so about six or eight centimeters. <clears throat> and I just wrapped it around my finger once to make a little knot. And then I bent the ends over to make the ladybug's antennas. And I folded my little knot up a little bit. So that's what you now have from your straight piece. So once your ladybug is all dried, it's going to take some time. It's going to look like that. <clears throat> and once it's dry enough for you to attach the head, I took my piece of pipe cleaner with my antennas and I glued it on the front of my ladybug. So there's our ladybug. <clears throat>